it's Alishka and we are back with another really fun craft. I think one of the most annoying things about this pandemic is that we have to keep our kids entertained all the time and obviously we can't keep buying them new toys so I thought we'd just make some. The one thing that we really do have a lot of in our house are toilet rolls. So bring them out once they're used obviously and we just need the cardboard roll. And let's make some cute sea animals because what kid does not love sea animals? So if you're ready to make adorable little sea characters like this, let's get crafting. Hello, son. Hello, Papa. This is my son, Super Sucker Junior. While they go find Octo, we'll start with our koi fish craft. This is going to be your basic covering for all the sea animals. Simply roll the paper around the cardboard roll, measure it out. Cut it and then apply glue and stick it neatly. Remember to use slightly thicker paper, that way you have lesser air bubbles. Of course, our koi fish are going to be in pinks and oranges. Flatten one side of the roll, then measure and cut out the tail. Keep the tail slightly long because that looks really pretty. Put some glue inside the roll and stick the tail. For the fins, I cut out some petal shaped and stuck it to the sides. But you can have fun with the tail and fin shapes. My koi fish has an open mouth and to accentuate that I cut a long thin strip and placed it around the circle of the roll. I also staple the tail to the roll and cover that with a thin strip of paper. This makes it more secure and also adds a pretty detail. Now stick your googly eyes. For a final touch, I cut the tail and fins to give it a feathered feel. Since I had two thicknesses of toilet rolls, I made a mama and a baby koi fish. Well, now that Super Soccer Junior has gone to school, maybe I should go get some tea. Ooh, tea. I love tea and I know someone else who does. Jaws. Let me go get him. Let's quickly make Octo before Jaws turns up. P.S. He's my favourite. Let's start by taking some of the remaining green paper and fold it lengthwise. Remember we need 8 tentacles so fold accordingly. Add some glue and fix them into the inside of the cardboard roll. Octo needs big eyes, so if you don't have big googly eyes, make them with black and white paper. Don't forget to add that smile. Now for my favourite part, curling the tentacles. Take a pencil and roll the paper upwards. Remember to keep it nice and tight and then let go. Ta-da! Octo is ready. Let's go find Jaws. I wonder what's taking Mr. Super Sucker so long. I must go find out. Oh. I thought that he would come soon. I'd rather go get Krabby. He's better at making tea and watch them. For Grumpy Jaws, we have used a blue color paper on the roll. Let's start by marking out the open jaws and then cut it. Remember to shape it nicely because the jaws are what make jaws. Next, cut two slits on the back for the tail. Now open up another roll and cut out a big tail from it. Don't shape it just yet, but just check how it fits on the slits. Cover the tail front and back in the same blue paper. And while that is drying, cut out the dorsal fin and cover that in blue paper as well. 
Now fix the tail and cut out the shape. To fix the dorsal fin, you need to make a slit on the top of the shark. Be very careful when you do this. Next, we are going to make the two other fins. Cut them, cover in blue paper, you know the drill. But instead of a slit, you can make a small cut on the fin. Don't go all the way through, just enough for it to bend. Now add some glue and fix it to the shark. Now for the sharp, deadly teeth. Cut about a quarter inch white paper and then cut small triangle shapes. Remember not to cut all the way. Place them around the mouth of the shark. Now stick your googly eyes and draw the gills. Let's go see if Jaws got his teeth. Okay. Naughty, naughty, crabby. Tricking poor Mr. Jaws like that. Well, let's see how to make this cheeky fella. Cover your cardboard roll in a nice red paper. Use one pipe cleaner for the hands. Cut out the claws in the same red paper and fix them with silicone glue or tape preferably. Take three pipe cleaners for the legs and bend them so that you get a base to stick to the roll. Use a lot of tape but secure them properly. Now put the hands in position and tape them in securely as well. Crabby needs big eyes as well. So use paper if you don't have big googly eyes. Fix them to some small pieces of pipe cleaner with tape. Use a sharp, pokey object like a compass or a divider and make two little holes on the top of the crab. Fix the pipe cleaner in them and twist them at the bottom so they hold still. Now give that cheeky fellow a naughty smile. I heard you say you're making tea. Okay, okay, I'll make some tea. Tea, tea, we love tea. Alright, let's have a tea party. If you enjoyed making these, like my video, share it with all of your friends and definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching.